I've got one more piece to share. I've never actually performed this one before, um, and it's nice to have a bit of an audience to, to do it. So uh, we had a bit of a discussion about shared experiences before, and I think everyone does have certain shared experiences, and one of the ones that is particularly maybe uh, real for people, and maybe somewhere in the back of your mind, but still maybe a little bit raw, is everyone's been dumped at one stage or another, and I, I got kind of dumped, and it wasn't great. Um, but I wrote this, oh yeah, the reason I bring it up is this is a country I'm amazed that word underdog never came up in the entire discussion about nationality because we are a country that constantly goes on about underdogs. And I was on a plane flying back from the, um, uh, the east coast of Australia feeling very sorry for myself. Um, and the, all right, so the, the just, I'd written this girl a few lines about, uh, she'd had a few issues with body image and I'd wrote her some nice stuff. And then I got dumped and I thought, no, nah, you're not having that. But they were good lines. <laughs> but they were good lines. They were good lines. So I decided I'd keep them and just rewrite them about maybe someone else who was in the, the position that I felt at that time. Because <laughs> I don't think she needs it. I don't think she'd read it. So instead, I'm thinking of the unthought of girls sitting at the back of Accelerate English, forgive this, as Bruno Mars with Just The Way You Are sort of already did it. And I don't have a piano. I talk awkward and British. But that mirror should feel privileged to be reflecting your image. And I'd be happy to kick in its glass if it asked you to feel less than perfect. Seven years bad luck, more than worth it if this wordsmith could tell you you were beautiful in such a way you heard it. These rooftops were built strong as if they were intended to be shouted from. All I need is inspiration for the inflammation of the fire bombs in my lungs reckons you're worth writing songs for. Just to let you know this boy longs for you to see your reflection in the same way the same boy defines perfection and plans to shed unplanned kilograms is irrelevance at its definition. So please crack a bottle of wine and feel fine about your composition when, given time, difficulty in life matures into wisdom. For those who understand how it is not to be positioned on the shortlist or the A team, to be assigned B grade hopes and dreams, know this, skinny, spotty and specky, boys, the meek inherit the earth in our early 20s. And I think there's a decency born out of knowing how it feels to be inadequate and therefore a happiness when we see the underdogs getting the upper hand in it. Princes hidden in frogs trained well at paddling paddleless up creeks of bullshit, but we swam through shallows, now look narrowly missed cliffs to climb from the other side stronger for it, sit lonely at stations, learn penmanship unequaled, to print and transcript your own life to best-selling sequels, ugly ducklings spread wings, become golden eagles, wall flowers into bean stalks will tower over the people. I think what I'm trying to say is you're gorgeous with a bigger G than Tupac plus Biggie multiplied by 50 cent, and I'd rewrite the, cal <laughs> and I'd rewrite the calendar into the world's most boring tax form small print to claim back 12% of the time we could spend. What I'm trying to say Win some, lose some. Win some, win some. Go on, son. We're not done yet. Not close to the close as new shoulders broaden, broaden to fill up oh, the size closed. Is there not beauty innate when we create something from nothing? I wonder how Neville Longbottom felt the first time Luna told him she loved him. Like anything's possible, like let's swim the Atlantic so I can drift past every fish in the planet's greatest sea and say, you look like a great fish, but you're not the fish for me. Give me a girl... <laughs> Give me a girl who likes tricky, quick, witty, literary semantics. I still believe there's hope, man, in hopeless romantics. Going back to that bar in Alice Springs, it's a bit embarrassing. Maybe I'm overthinking a fling. Not the end of the day um, in the grand scheme of things. But I thought the motorbike beneath the desert stars at night had been pretty nice. And maybe you could have taken your sunglasses off to look me in the eye when we went our different ways in life. But whatever. The philosopher Chumba Wumba once said, when knocked down, back up again you get. And I reckon that gives you... I reckon that gives you strong legs on which you walk and you spread the good word. To those who want to hear it, we will never be perfect. We get hurt and we scar. But when you look in the mirror, think less, this is who I am, and more, this is who we are. Thank you.